Jesus only had three short years to tell the people all he wanted them to know. He spent much of his time preaching, telling them stories, giving them advice, and helping them to understand God and his kingdom. One day, Jesus spoke to a large crowd of people while on the mountainside. This sermon, called the Sermon on the Mount, contains some of the most famous words that have ever been spoken. Jesus spoke in a way that resonated with everyone listening. He understood that there was a diversity of people from different backgrounds and social status. One thing they had in common was their curiosity in what he had to say. He told them many stories, taught them many lessons, but most important of all, he always pointed them towards God. His only purpose was to glorify God and have people do the same. Jesus taught on many topics and gave advice on many things, and even taught them how to pray and fast. Jesus wanted people to focus on God and heaven and not be so consumed with their lives here on earth. He taught them how to be fearless and put their faith and trust in God. All this he accomplished by using illustrations and stories. This way, anyone from an intelligent religious leader to a lowly fisherman could understand God's will. One such illustration was that of two men building new houses. The wise man built his house on a rock, and the foolish man built his house on the sand. Both thought their houses were strong, but it was only when a fierce storm approached that the true strength of the houses was revealed. The rain poured down, and the wind gushed mightily. The house that the wise man built stood firm. No amount of rain or wind moved it. Its foundation was sure and steady. The foolish man's house, on the other hand, could not stand against the flood, rain, and wind. It soon fell. Jesus wanted people to know that by placing their trust in God, they have a solid and firm foundation. Even though trials and tribulations may come, they will not be shaken or moved. While Jesus was preaching, many came to believe in him and believe that God sent him. His words of wisdom were not just rules to live by, they were meant to convict the heart of sinners so people would repent and turn to God. Jesus was not just a great teacher or a prophet, he was the Son of God.